When I first joined, started working with the daughters, I did so because uh, uh, they were originally a client of mine. And I realized over time that they were deeply dedicated to serving people, that it wasn't something that, that they talked about, it was something that they lived. And I, I think that uh, Sister Marjorie Ann Bays is an, an example of that. Uh, she's a nurse, a teacher, and helped manage uh, a number of the Daughters of Charity hospitals. In 2008, she was appointed the visitatrix, or the head of Daughters of Charity, Province of the West, and as I indicated, she's the board chair of Grace. Sister Marjorie Ann. Good morning and welcome to this conference uh, sponsored by Grace and by the National Foster Youth Initiative in coordination with uh, Representative Karen Bass. Grace is a ministry of the Daughters of Charity Ministry Services Corporation, as Conway mentioned. So I welcome you on behalf of the Daughters of Charity and beha on behalf of Maryvale, its board, administration, and staff. As Conway mentioned, the Daughters of Charity have been serving children in the Los Angeles area since 1856, and we're happy to host this conference. I salute the distinguished guests and dedicated child care professionals who are present this morning. I applaud your commitment to improve outcomes for some of the most vulnerable in our society. Children with difficult family situations or with no family. The Daughters of Charity and Maryvale base our commitment to children on human compassion for their suffering and for their needs. Our faith in God and our faith community are a staying power in this daunting work. We remember the pictures of Jesus with children. In his society, and many times in ours, children did not count. Children do not count. We're dispensable, but not with Jesus. In, in his, with him, they were a priority, and you have chosen to make them a priority in your lives and in your professional work. Improving the outcomes of foster care youth has been categorized as a problem that is too big to resolve. You know well the many challenges that face you as you plan initiatives that will make decisive changes. In America, we have faced many overwhelming situations and threats. We can think back to the War of Independence when colonists uh, faced a major power of the 18th century, the Civil War when our own country was torn apart as brother fought brother, World War II when we were fighting aggressors in Europe and in the Pacific, and then in our times, civil rights and the effort to correct unjust social situations in our own country. In the past, we have faced many difficulties. We have identified gaps and filled them. We have the ability, we have the obligation. As we begin this day, I invite you to join me in prayer. Loving God, God who loves children and who has a special love for all who advocate for them and serve them, we praise you at the beginning of this day. Bless all the children whom we serve and bless especially all children who have no one to speak and advocate on their behalf and bless their families. 
grant your guidance to this important gathering. Give wisdom to our speakers. Open the hearts and minds of all who are participating in this conference so that together we may overcome the enormous obstacles we face and make dramatic improvements in the outcomes for foster youth in California. We ask this in Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>